We are Science Sophie. This is Coastal News, a home and away podcast. Your weekly episode companion podcast for your favourite Aussie soap. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a Coastal News, a home and away podcast. First look. Yesterday was your weekly Saturday episode, dissecting the week that was in Home and Away. This is your Sunday evening premonition. Look forward to the week ahead. And basically, just a big guessing game because these <laughs> things are very cryptic. I'm joined by Sophie. How are you? Hello. I'm good, thank you. How are you doing? Not too bad. You're not on your own. I'm not on my own. Can you hear him? Hey. The dog. The dog is uh, in the background. He's eating his dinner. <laughs> <laughs> um so De- if Dex has got any opinions on any of um home and away this week he will let us know I'm sure he will he will um how you been doing good weekend yeah not bad as I say cleaning the oven all, all the exciting stuff so rock and roll what about you <laughs> because um all good the um weather's uh summer's trying it is week. very trying yes what's that about what happened Even there if, uh, Giving it a go. I was getting had... on my winter wardrobe about last week. I had all my sleeves coming out. Yep. And then this weekend I was like, no, no sleeves allowed. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, one last, one last alfresco coffee in the morning on the oh. weekend. Yeah. yeah. On to, although I will do that like in November, to be fair. Yeah, but with a coat on. <laughs> yeah. What is that about morning coffee outside? Is that just me? It's just comforting, isn't it? So something about your head being cold, but your your insides being warm. I don't know what it is. There's something I don't know. Yeah, mm. don't know. Is that mm. too much information? Sounds great. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> I should have rephrased that, but you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> shall we just get on? <laughs> I think we need to move swiftly on. Yes, sorry. <laughs> Oh dear. What have you been meaning to try, Sarah? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> no. <laughs> she will not be dragged into that. Right. Oh um, can I start an episode number for me for Monday's Five oh, Star. Crap. I forgot. <laughs> I was so excited about first look. I always forget about this bit. And when it's my go, uh, I've got no idea. I'll be honest. <laughs> I'm just going to pick a number out. I know it's 807 something. 807. 8078. I have no idea. Oh. Sorry. No. <laughs> Is it way out? 8077. Oh, I'm actually quite impressed that I got close. <laughs> I thought it was going to be way out. Okay. You're going to get the next one, aren't you? You're going to no. get the next one. I'm terrible at this. You're really good at this, and I'm absolutely awful at it. I think I've done it twice in a year. I think, though, what helps with me is that I am I have to, you know, put the title in the episode and everything. I think that helps oh, me. Oh, you write it down, don't it's you? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, so I have a little bit of an unfair advantage. However, I'm not perfect. I do forget it a lot. <laughs> uh, right, let's go. 8077. Love is in the air for Marley and Rose. Do, 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 do. Love is in the air. No, um, I don't. Oh, how do I feel about this? How do you feel about this? Nothing. Dead. No, I don't cold. feel, I don't feel any. I don't feel, I don't have the feels. As cold as your hand. <laughs> as cold uh, as ice. <laughs> I don't know. I don't feel anything. They're just, a, we're, we're not really, we're, neither of them get our juices flowing no dry as a bone (laughs) 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 i need to stop oh dear i'm sorry um cash has a new lead (laughs) what has happened what has happened (laughs) we're just keeping this theme (laughs) eden's taken for a walk Oh God! Um, a new lead. So, mm, do you think someone's told him that phone number or what? Or has he has he found something through his own investigations? I don't know. 
Maybe. Do you think maybe he, he can, you know, have a track? Uh, he can work out received calls on Flick's phone. He can definitely get a warrant for that, can't he? Um, because it's it's an open investigation. Oh, I don't know. It's dodgy. It's dodgy without her consent. Ugh, I don't know. But yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, Mercedes changes her tune. Okay, so what was her tune last week? <laughs> I've forgotten. She turned up to the studio, didn't she? And oh, the last time we saw her, I was really annoyed actually. I forgot to mention this on the main pod. The last time we saw Mercedes, she was in Salt with Eden, and Eden was telling her loads of personal stuff about Brie, and I was getting really, really annoyed. Do you remember? Mm. And she was going, Oh, yeah, well, I think Mercedes said something like, Brie couldn't even tell me what their connection was. And Eden said, couldn't tell you or wouldn't tell you. And she goes, oh, what's the difference? You know, they're not they're not meant to be for each other. We've got a connection. We've got so much in common. We're blatantly meant to be together. And Eden said, you know, well, Bree's and Remy's relationship came out of an affair. She was married to this man. He was horrible. He treated her badly. And, it, you know, Remy saved her. And they've got this. That's why they've got this connection. And I was like, no. And I like no. Eden. You know I like Eden. But this mm-hmm. was this really antagonised me, and I was like, "How effing dare you tell mm-hmm. this person that you don't trust?" Because this is what annoyed me. Eden said she's a snake. Mercedes is a snake. You can't trust her, and yet she's trusting her with all this private information about Brie. That's not. It's not Eden's business. It's not Mercedes' business. It's definitely not Eden's business to tell Mercedes anything. I was well. fur- furious about this. Mm-hmm. Furious. So You'd be uh, right. well, not cool. Not cool. Really not cool. I was not happy with this at all. And I don't think Brie would be happy if she found out either. But this led to Mercedes want to leave town, didn't it? Uh-huh. So has she, has she decided to stay in town? Is that the tune that well, we're now in? Oh yeah, because we saw we saw um Brie go back to her and basically guilt her into staying in Oh we? yes. Was that in first look or was that in the episode? I can't remember. Mm-hmm. First look, just at the end, it was. I need mm. to stay. If you like him as much as you say you do, you won't do this to him. Blah, blah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. that's it. Um, so, yeah, changes her tune, though. That's obviously her, May like you say, maybe staying and finishing this album. This whole time this is all going on, I'm just thinking, slap that bad boy on Garage Band and get a violin sound on it. Yes, just... The computer please. can do it. Just p- program one. Yeah, you don't actually yeah. need a real person these days, do you? I mean, they've obviously programmed some kind of drum noise on Kirby's keyboard, <laughs> haven't they? <laughs> yeah, because there, there is a drum noise. It's just very subtle, and I think it's Kirby that's doing it. Yeah, just okay. produ- just do it in production rather than... Yeah, yeah. Me. That's just me mm. anyway. Um, mm. Mind you, they don't have a producer. They're doing it, themselves. Doing it in-house, aren't they? yeah. Felicity's horrors are far from fading. Oh, well, I think, again, first look foreshadowed that this guy's coming back and asking for more money, isn't he? A yeah. grand wasn't enough. Yeah. Is, it well, ten, is it 10 grand he wants? Yeah, yeah, something like that on the trailer. And yeah. literally the next one here, Felicity and Tani are running out of time. So it was always going to happen that one, one grand wasn't a lot. We said it mm. yesterday. That's only going to go one way. Mm. Um, Justin is back in action. Oh, crikey. Is that... I don't want to know. Do I want to know? What what was he out of action for? Well, if it was that... (laughs) Leah's going to be empty. Or is the garage open again? Oh, it could be the garage... Because... Last week, actually, we had a we had a tweet from somewhere. Was it Bluebell Ivy that tweeted us? It was somebody that tweeted us last week. I can't remember whose apologies because I can't remember who it was. Um, but we got a tweet from someone saying, "Didn't Justin just tell Alf that he's not on his crutches anymore?" And yet, two scenes later, here he is on his crutches. And I actually went back and watched the episode, and what Justin yeah. said to Alf was, "I've had my brace taken off my leg." Um, so that happened last week. His brace is off his leg, but he actually still has one crutch under his arm. So mm-hmm. um, maybe the brace coming off is a signal that he's getting 
you know, more mobile, I guess. Mm. He can get back to work. Get back to... He remembers he owns owns a garage because he's forgotten that he owns a garage, I I think. think. Mm. (laughs) Also, he'll be able to throw Leah around the bedroom again. Anyway... That's what. That's where my mind was going. He's back in action. Yeah, boo boo, I'm back. <laughs> Come to puppy. <laughs> oh, he's got, maybe he's got a packet of blue pills and he's happy to see it. I don't know. Mm. Can John end his tenancy at Chateau Irene? Can he? Does he not want to go home? Is, is he contracted? contractually obliged to stay there (laughs) maybe do you think Marilyn said to him okay I'm okay with you that prank last week it upset me but I'm okay now you've explained it but I want you to move out of Irene's now maybe you know because they've been to the wedding haven't they they've been to Jet's wedding they've probably cleared the air has he come back and said right Marilyn was upset with me and Irene and I need to move out but he doesn't want to really yeah and come on he's well enough to go home yeah you know yeah the pair of them are enjoying the company aren't they yeah. you know um and you can you can understand that so maybe he doesn't want to but he's got to mm. maybe felicity accumulates more lies oh god who? Because so, Tane knows the truth, doesn't he? Tane uh, currently knows, as far as we know, knows the truth. She's told him that about the blackmail and that she's paid him off. Do you think maybe she's not told him that the blackmail is continuing? Maybe. Or is it, is it still cash that she's lying to? Or, and it, everyone but Tane, basically. Are you reading this like she's the liar, though? Felicity accumulates more lies. Or is it people around her lying to her? Oh, I was. I assumed it was her doing more lying. Mm, it reads a bit strange. That it could be either way, couldn't it? Yeah. Because if Cash is like, he's got a lead and he's not telling her things, and oh, could be that. Yeah, yeah. Justin questions Kirby's motives. Kirby's motives. Hmm. And Justin. I'm, I'm confused. What what's Kirby's motives about anything? What's Kirby done recently? Oh, is it about Theo? Oh, might be. Oh, is it the ba- Hang on. Justin back in action. Is he like actually being band manager Justin? Oh, the job that he wants, not the job that he's got. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it could be that, couldn't it? Not the garage. I- there maybe there's some band drama and he's having it out with Kirby. Maybe. Oh, don't know. That's thrown me. John comes clean to Irene. Eh? Eh? I don't want to go home, Irene. I want to live with you forever. I love you, <laughs> Irene. It wasn't that a prank. Mm-hmm. <gasps> oh, Irene, permanent. I don't know. What? I, I, I don't know. It was me who broke the glass. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a brain tumour at all. I was the arsonist that I still am. <laughs> don't tell anyone. <laughs> I don't know. That's mm. that's interesting, though. Straight. Do you remember last week, though, we put a huge emphasis on some big dinner party at Irene's house? <laughs> it, did. it never happened. <laughs> <laughs> It never happened. In fact, you know when um, when they were trying to like escalate the prank thing, and she invited Xander, didn't she? She invited Xander over. I think was it Xander? She invited somebody over for a, for a meal, and they were like, "Uh, oh, okay, yeah." And I thought, "Here we go. This is the dinner and the talk of the town." Yeah, it same. Happen. It didn't happen. Mm-hmm. Same. Oh, yeah. Um, Kirby rides a wave of change. What's going on with Kirby here? What is going on? I'm, I'm blindsided because I can't even guess what this... Unless she's learning to surf, rides a wave of change. Is she taking <laughs> surf lessons with Xander? This reads like my bloody horoscope. Is she the new flirty mum? Oh my God, is she flirting with Xander in the surf lessons? 
I don't, mm. I don't know. I'm literally grasping I'm at straws. Singles, <laughs> <aren't they? laughs> yeah. Get get Kirby in on the old polyamory. Oh. And Theo. Oh God. Justin. Alexander. Yeah, not the next line. Don't worry. Don't make that up. <laughs> Justin. Justin is on the hunt. I'm on the hunt. I'm after you. <laughs> I I'm confused. On the hunt for. Hang on. What was Justin yesterday? Justin was um, back in action. Oh. And then, um, questioning Kirby's motives. Oh yeah. And now he's on the hunt. Are these related? <laughs> Are these <laughs> relate? I'm confused. I'll be honest. Confused. I have no idea. Pass. Oh, on. where's Buddy? Oh, where is walk that dog? Somebody walk the dog, please. Maybe he's on the hunt for Buddy because we've not seen him or heard he's him. Starved to death in the back garden. It's been a while since someone's been banished to the back garden with the lead in the round. <laughs> Cash has got a new lead. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he stole it off Buddy. Well oh, done. Dear. I like that one. I like it. <laughs> Irene is alone and lonely. No! No, this is going to make me cry. I don't want to cry. Well, Irene, do you know what will make you feel better? Oh. Bottle of vodka. Oh, Bottle no, no, no. Vodka. Don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. Stay off the grog, Irene. Smirnoff, oh. she'll need these friends. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Although that would be quite, that would be quite fun. I love drunk Irene. Oh, but I don't like I don't like lonely Irene. That makes me sad. Mm, mm, I'm hearing the sal- I'm hearing the Salvation Army music in my head. <laughs> oh, it's gonna make me cry. I don't want I don't want to cry. Well, she's got enough blooming kids around. Don't start that debate off. Mm, where are they though? Where are they? Oh, where are oh. you, Finlay? Damien? Theo feels betrayed by Kirby. Kirby and Xander are getting it on here. Do you reckon? Mm. Oh, Kirby, and, Kirby and Justin. Okay. Ooh. Justin's on the hunt. Justin's, what was he <sighs> the day? Back in action. Justin's effing Kirby. It's fine, no. we're getting that. No. No. No, we no. can't be that, can it? It can't be that. It can't be that. Because Leah will abs- will. will rip a skin inside out <laughs> i want to see that though that'd be quite <laughs> that'd be quite fun <laughs> chaos bring it on justin gets bad news about the imminent album launch what what's justin got to do with the album launch Well, I think this, the more I've read now, the back in action thing is him actually doing doing manager duties. Yeah. Band manager and Justin. Maybe set up some big sort of launch. Do. Oh, okay. Yeah, some maybe kind of. falls through or something, I don't know. Mm, I can't think what, though. Because he's, he's not had a lot to do with the band for ages. He hasn't mm. had much to do with the band band recording of the album. He knows about it, but he turned what up at the house and he was like, oh, I'll, I'll come with you. And they were like, and Mercedes was like, who's this guy? You know, and then he never actually went to the studio, did he? We didn't see him at the studio, I don't think. Did we? Nope. He's asked Theo a couple of times, oh, how did rehearsals go? How did the recording go? Mm. And now he's all over it again. It's funny that, isn't it? Now they're starting to get off the ground. Suddenly Justin's, you yeah. know. He's a glory He yeah. is, isn't he? Man United fan or whatever. I don't know. Hmm. Marilyn, finally now. This is the last line of the week. Marilyn mm. misreads Irene's feelings. <laughs> oh, God. Are we having a kiss? <gasps> We're having a, a, a Myrene kiss. On, oh, my God. I'm excited. Marilyn uh, thinks Irene is in I'm love with like... her. <gasps> Now, oh. there's a ship we never thought we'd be doing. 
Myrene. Oh God. No, it can't be that. What can it what can it be? Well, I don't think it can be anything else right now. <laughs> so when when the whole Jirene thing kicked off and Marinin was upset, it was because she's in love with Irene. No, oh, I, I'm making no. I'm making things up now. I'm going wild in the aisles. <laughs> <laughs> no, but maybe, you know, Marilyn's round there one night and Irene's like, I'm all lonely. Do you want a <gasps> drink of Vidal? <laughs> and, and Marilyn's like, oh, she's cracking on to me here. Come, come, in, come into the bedroom and feel my soft towels. <laughs> Vinegar and bicarb, doll. Come and have a feel of my flannel in here. Oh, flannel? <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'm getting a bit hot. Um, I don't know what to say. 